Hello everyone, this is Alfred Monty here, and today we are gonna be running through our last official Tainted character, and that will be Tainted Jacob. Oh boy, this will be fun. I will say I'm more a fan of this character in the card game. You will see that his tears are higher than normal. Oh boy, you're going to need it. Not a good start, but that's alright. So, what's so special about Tainted Jacob other than his tier traits? Oh, you'll see in a moment, he has a pocket active Anima Sola. Do you see Repent over here? Because of the character Free Sprite mod, I don't remember the name of it. I do have those in the comments, and I am not playing well. Not a good start for this character because I need to be playing a little bit better. And hey, there is my brother. Tainted Esau. So what is he? So what he is, is he is your worst nightmare. Unkillable monster that can two-shot you uh, unconditionally. So he is something that you have to be afraid of for the entirety of the run. I cannot believe that hit me, I am upset. But, uh, that's fine. Problem. Let's see what's in here. Insane dust, not to be modded uh, stuff in that room. The bone heart's gonna be nice for later on. Now, you might be wondering why, I guess how I am guiding Tinted Esau around, and that's because I have Anima Sola, so if you unlock this item uh, through just regular gameplay, Anima Sola is meant to just lock down enemies, that was a cheap shot, you always have to be aware of that, man, Rollhorn. A little fresh so you're able to guide around Tainted Esau even though he is an enemy. You can also bump it into enemies as well to get you some free damage that does ignore armor. I don't want Apple of Sodom. I want Lucky Rock. I also want this. Bone heart here, like that. And then because we're at the end of the floor, we can better show you what he can do. Let's let him hit me. Hit me. I turn into the lost with the grief face. We can still grab hearts to help my heart container, but you can see that my hearts are faded out, and I do not have holy mantle, so I will die. And one hit in that form. I'm not gonna demonstrate that unless I lose. But we may or may not get there. But I'll take the extra heart there. Something good. Penny, you know what? Good enough for me. And also, I will say the extra tiers of start does help tremendously it makes things a lot easier for everyone involved in this run oh, that's a lot of money and also there are times where you will be forced to either take damage or get hit by uh, Esau here and you should pretty much always just take the damage. And sometimes you'll just panic a little bit like I did there. You know, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, that was great. I saw I could show you another trick we could do in here.
So, we're going to go Devil Deals, and I'll show you why in a second. Just make sure my card... You know what my card does. Three, three, two, each. I think I'll lose no matter what anyway, but let's try it. So we'll take that. Challenge. We can take that for free because we're temporarily lost. However, I've made a grave error because I did not find my item room. And I am what you call greedy. So we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. Find that item room. So this is gonna be the most stressful few minutes of this run. Hyper Quag, we're gonna take Hyper Quag. It does nothing in this context. Let's go to the store. Please don't be greed, I will cry. And that will be the end of the video. Because, so I took Potato Peeler, I believe that's the name of it. What that does is, it sacrificed red hearts in order to get cubes of meat to make yourself a super meat boy. So, we're just getting started on that. So, I'm waiting for one more HP upgrade. So that we can finish with our Meat Boy transformation. So normally our Meat Boy does not look like that. This is also another Resprite mod that you can check out in the description down below. Please do not touch me. You have to play aggressive. You have to play aggressive, there's no way around it. You have to play with confidence. Because if you do not, this character will not be a fun ride at all. However, I do find this character fun in his own way because, I mean, like, this is a very unique challenge and he used to be, in my opinion, a little harder and probably maybe a little bit buggier because how he used to work was he was an enemy that you could kill, and if you ended up killing him, you ended up being a spirit for the rest of the floor. Not the run, but it was still irritating enough to warrant a sort of change for him. No. Deal. Why do you hate me so? Oh 
at the store. I really, really want to be so hard. Probably too badly, but... So, closer to the end of floor, so I'm less likely to cry out my car battery. I'm less likely to cry about being the the worst version of the lost here. I'm happy I get to I'm happy we get to see the full version of Super Meat Boy. Oh, thank goodness. Depending on the boss, full-on Meat Boy can just be enough to win runs. It can be a run one. It can be. It is underrated. Very underrated combination of items. You do need potato peeler. And you do need. You do need cubes of meat. And orbitals, or things that rotate around you, like the bandages, aren't what they used to be. Magician's good, just not right now. Nope, don't do that ever again. It's stressful, it really is. So how about this, I'll extend this challenge. If we can get 15 likes on this video, I would be more than happy to do another tainted Esau video. I don't even know how that hit me. Because, because I understand that stuff like this can be entertaining and I do realize that I am talking a lot more than usual because of my activity, as it were. Because I'm, I guess I'm feeling, I don't know, panicky is the right word, but we'll go with it. Panicky. Because. Dang it. I understand that at any moment I could just lose the entire run. Because. Of. A mistake or two. Yeah. Occur. I'm very tempted to avoid this altogether. That's not in the heart of this challenge. They really need to buff the clicker because the only point of it is to cheese unlocks. That's actually the whole point of it. Oh. 
we're gonna go to the store. Yeah, all things considered, we are making really good time. Even though I am hemorrhaging HP like crazy. We'll see in the next two floors if we end up getting greed or super greed. Because if we do, well then, oh boy, this, this is not going to be easy. Because we actually don't have that many items. In all reality, we don't have that much HP. Oh, that's cool. I need that. I need that now. BFF makes Meat Boy a whole lot more palatable. Trip swords. Yes. Let's go four cents. Would like that bomb, but later. Back. Go 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 go. This is a huge upgrade. Huge. Take it. Yes. Actually, six, six, six. You don't need luck. Do not need them, but I'll appreciate them as I should. And one of the key things about playing Tainted Jacob is to try and minimize as much stuff on the screen as you can so you can stay focused. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Modded item. Don't know what it does. Let's go. I don't even know if that works with Tinted Jacob. I don't even know what it is. Oh, 
keep it up with the soul hearts. I feel like I'm getting rewarded for playing better, at least. second that I was teaching Jacob because uh, I lost my sense of man. BFF, uh, it's a huge damage up. Always do the side steps, and I would really like the tinted skull to be accessible. Because that opens up some opportunities. I don't even care about boss rush, I care about certain items. Stars? Yeah, that works. Specifically so that we could both get Polaroid invincibility. More movement speed would make this infinite money. Myself, do not hurt myself. Just get out. Whew. That double deal was pretty clutch, I would say. Now I have... 
if I could undo that, I would. I would say a very underrated transformation, but I would consider it. And the same with Tainted Esau, even though he is a hindrance, like there's no doubt about that at all, it does help. No question about it. I would play that room if it wasn't for Tainted Esau, which would cause me to instantly die. Everything could just be gone in the blink of an eye if I'm not careful. I've been so lucky with these. Purgatory? Fine. Purgatory can help. Purgatory can help greatly. <laughs> I realized my mistake. You need to get rid of this red heart. Because now I can't fly. I should have done Anima Sola, because if you Anima Sola, he actually cannot touch you. Fun fact.
Really? Goodness for the salt. Then I'm gonna use my sunburn now. I know exactly where I'm going. No guessing. You know what? Sunburn. Desperation. I think that's the model I think that's true. That's true. It hurts. It's actually like this not matter. Good at this point because we still have on. And we did 
did it! Do that. Which is a random dice room effect that didn't seem to do anything for us. We got through Tainted Jacob. I am stoked about that. Whew, that was not easy for me. I was essentially holding my breath for the entire time. I didn't think I was going to make it. But we got through. Oh, but I... Well. So I think at this point I'm going to take a little bit of a break from Isaac. We finally made it through all of the normal ice characters and also some modded ones so that made our journey a little bit more interesting i'd like to think so if you want to see me do any more isaac content feel free to hit the like and subscribe like i said 15 likes i'll do another tainted jacob run and if you want to see me do anything like daily runs uh, a dead god run where we're trying to get through all the achievements of uh, Message me in the comments and also hit that like button and also feel free to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, I always read all the comments so please feel free to give me some ideas. Uh, I am recording this directly after the Beth Bethany video so right now it's 12.31 a.m. for me. So. We'll make it through uh, some other games uh, as well. Again, put comments down below and have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye-bye.